Edmodo Scavenger Hunt Step 6 Filtering and Tagging Post Sometimes things get lost in an Edmodo feed and you can't find that assignment or quiz or that really important message from your teacher about your research report. Filtering and tagging items will help you find those lost items quickly. There are several ways that you can filter your post in Edmodo. The most common is to click up in the upper left hand corner on latest post and that will bring the most recent post from your classmates, your teacher, assignments, things like that to the top of your feed. But say you knew you had a quiz that was due and it's not showing up because it might be a little bit late and you need to go find that. The way that you do that is to go into the upper right hand corner near the notifications box and find the icon that says filter post by. When you click on that button, it brings up a drop down menu. You have the choice of filtering your post several different ways. You can do it by author. So if you know you posted something and you can't find it, you can tell it to find all the posts by me. You're looking for that comment from your teacher. You can sort by teacher. You want a post that's directly to you. You can do the direct post or recent replies to post. You can click on that. You can also filter by types. You can pull up alerts, assignments, feeds, polls, and quizzes. The ones you will most commonly use are assignments, polls, and quizzes. Click on assignments. It brings up all, just your assignments and for all classes. If I wanted to filter down further, I can filter by groups by going and clicking in a group and then filtering the post by assignments within that group and it will give me only the assignments for that class. I can always make my filters go away by clicking here or by clicking on latest posts that will always take you back to the main thing. Another great feature about Edmodo is the ability to tag a post. Say you wanted to remember what the results were from the favorite food poll and you wanted to make sure you could always find it quickly. Underneath each post there are three little buttons. Your reply button, your tag button, and your reaction button. That's kind of like a like button on Facebook. The tag button, if you click on the drop down, you can either use existing tags that you've already created or you can create a new tag. In this case I'm going to call this one polls. Now later on if I want to go and find just those polls up here by the filter post by is a button that has little tags on it. I click on that under my tags click on polls and it will bring up just that post. The other thing is under the tags you have shared tags. These are tags that your teacher may share with you. One of them that you will have for the next step of this scavenger hunt is a shared tag called Edmodo Scavenger Hunt. So you can click on my tags or the ones you've created or shared tags are the tags that the teacher shared with you that you will be able to access and pull up. Once you have tried filtering and tagging some of your posts and are comfortable with that, go ahead and move on to the next video. This ends step six of the Edmodo Scavenger Hunt.